Well, good morning to you. Good morning. It's Sunday the 27th of May and there's a lovely, lovely smell to the air this morning. Last night we had constant thunder and we had rain. And I was a little curious about how much rain we actually had. So before the rain started, I put the, took the old saucepan out. And if you look, it's only about a quarter of an inch. So although it rained all night, it, uh, <laughs> it wasn't that impressive. Um, this little thing here, this is a gift from the squirrels. Uh, one of my new neighbours, a man called Eric, he dug this out of his lawn. It's a walnut tree. Uh, yeah, we've got squirrels in this part of the world and they round up the walnuts and they hide them and then they can't remember where they left them. Now that looks like it got rained upon, doesn't it? That beautiful, beautiful peony but that will undoubtedly stand up a bit as the day progresses. Yeah, see, the, the amount of rain we had, it, 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 it really doesn't amount to anything exceptional, does it? Well, into every life a little rain must fall, but it's got the makings of a beautiful morning. I've checked the weather forecast, and it sort of says it's going to be lovely until about 2 o'clock this afternoon. So let's make best use of lovely, shall we? Hmm. Now I've come to Chatillon sur Andri. Indri, not actually sure how to say that last word yet. Uh, basically, what it, it, it's the town name, Chatillon, and the S is for sur, which all schoolboys know is the French word for on, and it's on the river Indri. Now it's a pretty impressive sort of little town, and I'm um, I'm going to have a little look round it. Uh, this map doesn't have one of those big arrows that says you are here. However, you can't get too badly lost in a small town like this where you've got a great big donjon, which is there. You know, we should be able to find our way around. Yeah, it's different coming to places like this, isn't it? You know, <laughs> little cobbled street, and at the end of it, a castle. You know, why wouldn't you have a castle at the end of your road? That's not actually what I've come to see. That's quite a, quite a sort of monument isn't it um, peace work and freedom
but uh, well, you, you do have to stop and look, don't you? That's an interesting display in the window. One assumes that this is some sort of carpenter's shop, perhaps. know quite how the camera is going to cope with this but how is that for cast balcony rails You'd be embarrassed to have ordinary ones like that next door, wouldn't you? Well, maybe not. Seems everywhere I go I see these gorgeous roses. Sooner or later I think I'm going to have to uh, take some cuttings off some of them. Um, not quite sure what I'm in front of here. Looks like a big impressive building. Yeah, the town hall. Well, that was the comedy moment of the morning. Um, it, when I came into this town, I knew exactly where I was going, but as you sort of move around, you know, it's, it's, it's a fairly, fairly difficult town to see exactly where you're going. So I got my telephone out and I asked Google, and what Google said was it couldn't connect. Uh, however, I asked a gentleman um, and he just couldn't believe that I couldn't see this building here. <laughs> he smiled, he was very polite and very uh, very pleasant, pointed me in the right direction. And there we are, Leglise. Of course begs the question if I'm ever going to find the car again. That's quite a building isn't it? Now, the service that I've just attended was a full family mass service uh, and it was a first communion for a lot of the children in this part of the world. If you've never been to such an event, whether you believe in it or not, I think it's quite a beautiful Thing to do. So there we are. I'm going to see if I can remember where I parked the car and allow these people to enjoy their special day. Well, slowly, 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 I am making progress with what is going to be the start of a sort of semi formal set of rose beds. Now, one of the things that we were told about when the various bits of legal things were done for this property was that if we find any treasure we are required to declare it to the town hall which gives me a little bit of a problem um, I think I've found Louis the 16th's crown jewels I think possibly these are assorted bits that have been coming out of the ground one of Louis the 16th's clothes peg springs and one of his pyjama buttons and 
obviously some save porcelain and uh, yeah it's exciting isn't it you know stained glass from the royal palace perhaps that's what we'll tell them anyway <laughs>